In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four arrow options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this kind of a 3D room where I have placed one open box here and then I've just put some lights here and then what happens when I click the first arrow comes along with the detailed text. So let me just show you when I click, you can see here the first option comes. You can add the title and the detailed text here and then when I click with a different color combination, option two comes then the option three and the option four comes and then the light effect will start you can see here uh, so depending on your requirement you can add or delete the the arrow options or you can just change the other uh, shapes also like one more slide where i have made where i have just put this kind of a customer service where here it's very happy it's happy it's uh, sad or not at all happy so depending on your requirement you can just choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 to make this particular slide if you're using the older version of powerpoint then some features might not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to draw a kind of a 3d room for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select this trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here drag it from this end to this end and then you can see here the small orange point just drag it inside and depending on your uh, requirement you can increase or decrease the width so i don't want this much width maybe i need only this and then i can just make it more depth you can see here something like this all right and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some uh, light gray color then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering till this part this or this end you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give somewhat dark color and then send this to back and press ctrl d to duplicate and add it the other side you can see here make sure that it is properly aligned and send this also to back and then uh, for this i can add one more rectangle you can see here it doesn't matter even if it is going outside not a problem shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe if you want more lighter or more darker depending on your requirement you can choose the color and then this also send this to back so you can see here i have created this uh, uh kind of a 3d room and then i'm going to add one uh box here where the arrows will come out from this so let's design the box now so go to the new slide all right and then let me just go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the triangle draw the triangle you can see here depending on a requirement shape outline make it no outline and then rotate i can just make it to rotate left 90 degrees and then put it here exactly in the center and if you want to increase the size you can increase it and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d let me just give some different color again rotate and flip horizontal and then i'm just going to place it here something like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to add one uh, rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here something like this maybe this much size shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some different color and later on we can change the color not a problem so for these two shapes i'm going to duplicate and keep it aside for my later use then i'm going to cut this part and below also i'm going to cut it okay so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this rectangle and hold the shift key select this triangle merge shape i can just subtract it you can see here something like this and then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select this right triangle and i'm going to draw the right triangle this much size and then I can just make it maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline then I'm going to select this hold the shift key and select this one merge shape and subtract it so you can see here we got this shape and depending on my requirement I can increase or decrease the size and then press ctrl d to duplicate 
go to rotate i can just make it flip vertical and i'm going to place it exactly here something like this and then depending on your requirement you can just give some dark and light color combination okay so maybe i'm just going to choose this color combination and let me just delete this i'm going to bring this here all right now because we have reduced the size i need to reduce the size for this also again if you want to make the height or uh, the width also you can just adjust it so let me just reduce this also so you can see here and this also i'm just going to give some a lighter color here and some darker color here all right so you can see here it looks like a box and then if you can if you want you can just add some more uh, shapes also go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select the free form shape you can see here let me just zoom in and i'm going to choose one box opening here can can you see something like this here then i'm just going to click it here and then i'm going to attach it all again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to choose some lighter color here and then i'm going to insert shapes again i'm going to choose the line again from this end to this end i'm going to draw one more you can see here kind of a you can see here no outline and shape fill maybe i can choose the darker color, color here and then you can add the same thing for the other ends also you can see here let me just make it and if it is gone wrong if it is not the right shape then also you can adjust it by right mouse click edit point and then i want this point to come something like this all right and this also there's a gap here i want to remove the gap and shape fill i'm going to choose a darker color here and then i'm going to add one more this one you can see here that's it no outline and shape fill i'm going to choose this color so you can see here our box is ready so i'm just going to copy this box Control c to copy bring it here Control v and depending on your requirement you can place uh, uh, up it's up to you wherever you want to place it in the center or right or left or whatever and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this this four things first and then i'm going to group it Control g to group it all right and then if you want to add some shadow effect also you can go to insert shapes from the uh, from the lines i'm going to choose the same again a free form shape something like this you can see here all right shape outline no outline shape fill black right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to increase the transparency and go to the soft edges here and increase it all right and then just send this to back so you can see here our box is ready and then if you want to add few more shadow effects also here you can add it for example i can just select this one press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here again this also i'm going to give it black increase the transparency rate increase the soft adjust and i can just put it something like this all right so let me just ungroup this one because we have grouped actually i should have group after getting the shadow effect only after creating the shadow effect all right again you can just right mouse click edit point and you can just edit it so that it should look meaningful otherwise if you're putting something the wrong shadow effect it will not look good so you can see here something like this you can do it and then once it is done i can just group it now okay all right and if you want you can just group it the back one also but not required but anyway for easier thing i can just group this also so these two groups i have made it now you can see here our our uh, room with the box is ready now it's time to add the arrows or any other shape of your choice so let me just remove this uh, guides then go to insert shapes and from this block arrows you can see here you've got wide variety of arrows so i'm just going to select this arrow bend 
and I'm just going to draw this arrow and then you've got like multiple uh, orange points let's uh, do that later but let me just rotate this first you can see here I'm just going to make it flip horizontal and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill depending on my requirement I can just choose the color and then this part I can just bring this to front so that as if it looks like this is coming out from the you can see here from the box all right so i can just place it here one and then again if you want more wider more narrower or from this one also more curve or less curve you can just make it your own design here and again if you don't want uh, arrowhead i can just remove this also or if i want a bigger arrowhead i can just make it so depending on your requirement you can just increase or decrease you can see here you can just play with these properties and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d let me just give some different color here and i'm going to increase the size you can see here and i'm going to place it above of this by touching this and then if you want i can just increase the size and then i can just reduce it here also you can see here a lot of different ways you can just work on this all right and this also just send this to back and I'm going to select both of this, press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm just going to rotate it, flip horizontal and then I can just add it here or I can just make it somewhat down also, alright. Then let me just change this one, the color as of my requirement, whichever color it suits me and then I can just select this and this also bring to front so you can see here with this our design is ready so I can just select all these four uh, arrows and then I can give some shadow effect here you can see here you can increase the distance you can increase the blur size a lot of things you can think of doing this one but make sure that you can see here this is coming out so I can just reduce the size also make sure that arrow should not look uh, you know should not be looking uh, from this box you know from the bottom so once this is done and uh, now it's time to add the text and some icons if you have the latest version so let me just do that now so go to insert text box i'm going to type the title here if you want to make it center align make it white font or white is not visible let it be black only make it bold i'm going to reduce the size let me just zoom on you can see here and then i can just go to insert text box i can add some detailed text so within brackets i'm going to type equals a lower rem within brackets one and then i'm going to delete the long text let me just center align this reduce the font size you can see here and i'm going to place it here or i can just make it justify also even i can just reduce this much and then i can just put the title here and then group this press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add one here ctrl d you can see here and again one more control d for this particular icon and if you want to add few more uh, text like i'm going to add this one something called option one i'm going to place it here make it bold and going to make it white press control d to duplicate let it be here control d again control d you can see here and then i can just make it this is option two this is option three and this is option four and then i can just group this sorry let me just group this i can select both of this press control g to group it again select this hold the shift key and this arrow control g to group it you can see here one by one I can just press ctrl G and then I'm going to select this and bring this to front. Alright, you can see here I have added all these options and this the detailed text. Now it's time to add the animation. Go to animation, enable the animation pane. I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to select the wipe here. You can see here wipe effect and then 
I'm going to select this add animation more intense effect and I'm going to select stretch click OK whether you want this one or left right it's up to you and this should happen after previous now it's easy for me I'm going to select the animation painter click on this again I'm going to choose this one click on this you can see here again this one just click it and then the last one this also you can see here so let me just play now how it looks you can see the first option the second option third option and the fourth option so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the arrows you can change the color you can add the light effect so many things you can think of doing for this particular slide